Hello everyone, welcome to Cape Breton University and to your first advising session for the winter 2023 term. We are thrilled to have you all at CBU for the upcoming term. This is the advising video for the new students who will be joining CBU's community during the winter 2023 term. Registration deadline for winter 2023 term is 18th of January 2023. However, it is advised to the students that they do not wait until the last minute to finalize their winter 2023 registrations. Also, register for courses only if you have your visa approval with you. Before registering for courses, make sure that you have your course outline with you or you can say course worksheets with you. In today's session, we are going to cover five topics. We're going to begin from the post baccalaureate diploma programs introduction and understanding the program requirements. Then we will understand the registration process and at last we will explore the CBU website along with the steps of how you can reach back to the post baccalaureate diploma advising team. All right, let's begin. So post baccalaureate diploma programs are well structured programs, which means that it is extremely essential for you to follow your course outline. The diplomas are two year programs that consist of 39 credits. Now do not get confused with the credits in, in your two years of diploma. You will have 11 courses that will have three credits each that will give you a total of 33 credits and six credits will be given on successful completion of either your capstone project or internship. Shannon School of Business offers four diploma programs which are business management, business analytics, supply chain management and healthcare management. And you must achieve a minimum of 60% in all required courses to finish your diploma. Here, I will also mention that for the students who will be beginning their courses in January of 2023, will have a scheduled break from May 2023 till August of 2023. Now, let's see what is a prerequisite. Prerequisite means that there are certain courses mentioned in your course outline that are required to be successfully finished before you register for some other courses in your diploma program. You will be able to check the prerequisites in your course outlines. As an example, we have shown supply chain management course outline. If you see on the right hand side, there is a prerequisite column. And for the students of supply chain management, you can see in your second term in under the prerequisite column, there is MGSC 5108 mentioned as a prerequisite for MGSC 5113 quantitative methods course, which means that you will not be able to register for quantitative methods course until you have successfully finished MGSC 5108 that is statistics in your previous term or in this case as in the first term. All right, now let's have a look at the electives. Except for supply chain management students, post baccalaureate diploma programs have the option where students can choose two elective courses to study, which means that there is an elective table in your course outline from which you can choose two elective subjects that you want to study in your diploma program. So if you see that we have shown business management course outline on the screen here, you will be able to see that there is an elective table given. You can only register for the elective courses which are mentioned in your course outline. Any course out of the elective table will not be considered a part of your curriculum. However, do not forget to check if elective subjects also have any prerequisites before you register for them. Now let's move on to course shuffling. Students can choose to shuffle their courses if their prerequisite requirements are met. However, students have to make sure to register for courses according to their course codes mentioned in their course outlines. Course codes are mentioned on the left hand side to ensure that students are registering for the correct courses in their each term. 
So as an example, we have shown the healthcare course outline in which there is a course code column mentioned on the left hand side of the course outline. Just ensure to register for courses with these course codes. Along with this, students are required to register for a certain number of courses as per their course outline. Since post baccalaureate diploma programs are well structured programs, any change may impact your student status and your postgraduate work permit. Therefore, if you are planning to take more or less number of courses in a particular term or thinking of shortening or extending the length of your diploma program, then it is advised that you get in contact with your international student advisors to understand the impact of the same on your study and work permits in case you're planning to stay in Canada after the completion of your program. However, it is always advised that you follow your course outline to register for the number of courses in each term. Now, as you all know that I have already mentioned that you will be doing either capstone project or internship in your program. So you can choose to do capstone project or internship in your third or fourth semester. Now, we are not going to go in details of what capstone project or internship means. However, just remember that to be eligible for an internship, you are required to have an average of 70% in your previous terms and you will get six credits for completing your capstone project or internship. Also, there is no separate fee payment for internship or capstone project as they are a part of your curriculum. So you only have to pay your semester fee. Now let's understand the registration process. To register for your courses, you first have to log into your Compass student account. To log in, first go to the CBU website at www.cbu.ca and click on the login button present on the top right corner of the web page. Once you click on the login button, you will find a new small screen that is getting displayed. Now, under the students section, you will find multiple options. Let's have a look at some of the important ones before we log into our Compass student account. So the first option that I want to describe is Moodle. Moodle is like a bridge between the professors and the students. You will find your course syllabus, assignments, tests, project details and submissions etc. under Moodle. Then we have Office 365 email which is Outlook email that will act as a mode of communication between the students and the university. Any official interaction that you will have with CBU will happen via Outlook. So make sure that you keep on check regularly checking your Outlook emails. After that, we have the My Library account, which will be your connection for using your library resources or getting connected with the library assistance for any research or project that you're working on. Then there is My Career page where you'll find the information about your co-curricular records, information sessions, resume or cover letter writing workshops, internship sessions, etc. All that information will be provided under my career. So I also recommend that you keep visiting the my career page to keep yourself updated about the sessions or workshops related to your courses that are happening in the university and you register for them on time. At last we have the CBU alert option as well which is a university's way to reach out to the students regarding any type of emergencies like power outage or fire alarms going off etc. Now let's come back to Compass student account. When you'll click on it, you'll be navigated to a login page where you'll enter your login ID that has been provided to you by the CBU IT department and your password. If you have not reset your password, then it is by default YY as in the last two digits of your birth year, MM as in your birth month and DD as in your birth date. After this, click on sign in and you will be navigated to your personal Compass student account. Over here as well, you will find many options. Let's have a look at some of the important ones. 
the very first option is student finance student finance will provide you with all the information related to your fees you can find and download your fee receipts here information of how much you have paid and how much you have to pay for the coming terms etc will be given under student finance tax information will provide you with any documents that the university has to provide to students when they'll be applying their taxes in canada then let's see the grades option so grades is where you will be able to check the results after the completion of your term then student planning here you will be able to see the courses that you have planned or registered for and in which term you are enrolled into you will find a calendar where you will be able to see your class timings etc now let's move to course catalog here you will be able to find all the courses and add them to your plan so when you'll click on course catalog you will copy and paste or write the course code from your course outline like this and search for your courses once you find the course that you want to register for just click on view available sections for that course and you will be able to find all the available sections for that course the first thing that you have to make sure is to find the right term which means that you have to check for the winter 2023 term before you register for a course then you can look for the sections that you want to register for so over here 14 15 16 17 are the sections of the course along with that once you decide which section that you want to register for you can check the section of your class then seats available in that section then what is the time of your class the days you will be attending the class professor who will be teaching the class and the location of your class once you have decided that you want to take a particular section all you have to do is click on add section to schedule once you click over there a new small window will open up where you just have to click on add section and that's it you'll be able to see a green color message that that particular course along with the section has been planned on the schedule now after that if you click on the home tab given on the left corner of your compass student account and then click on student planning and then click on go to plan and schedule option you will find that the selected course is planned under your selected term planned courses are displayed in yellow color however planned courses does not mean that you are registered into the course once you'll plan your course you will find register button below the meeting information link Just click on the register button and you will notice that your course will start to get displayed in green color. That's when you know that you are registered for the course in winter 2023 term. Similarly, in order to drop from a section of a course, go to that course under student planning and under meeting information link, you'll find a drop button. Just click on that button and a new small window will open up. Select the course section that you want to drop from and click on the update button. That's it. You will be dropped out from that section of the course. Now let's see what are conflicting courses. If your course is getting highlighted in red color when you plan it, do not panic. There can be two reasons for that. first there can be a time conflict which means that you have registered for two courses that are happening at the same time on the same day third sorry second there are no seats available in that particular section 
in such scenarios all you have to do is drop from the course that is getting highlighted in red color and find another section to register also note that if you are trying to enroll into a course that has a prerequisite then it will show you a warning message that another course has to be taken before enrolling into that course now over here i will also like to mention that when you are checking the location of your class if it displays cplx then that means that your classes will be held at the cineplex location of cbu you can see the address on your screen otherwise your classes will be held at the main campus the address of the main campus is also displayed on the screen now let's explore the cbu website a little CBU has recently incorporated a new option on the CBU website that is CBU Service Hub. CBU Service Hub is a quick link to access a lot of CBU web pages. So if you are looking for applying for your enrollment letter, want to know how to connect with academic advising, how to get payment receipts or check student job opportunities, you can access all on CBU Service Hub. I recommend that you explore this quick link on your own. However, I will be displaying some of the important options that new students might be looking to explore. So, if you are looking for application for program change, then just search it in the search bar and you will find two options coming on the top. The first one is change of program after you have registered for your courses. and the second one is for the students who are yet to begin their programs based on your selection you will be navigated to a specific program change you have to fill the form and send it to the email address mentioned on the top right corner of the form after that if you want to check the payment deadlines policies and regulations for international students just go to the payment deadlines under finance and payments option on the cbu service hub and you will automatically be navigated to the web page with the information like what are financial penalties for dropping from courses before the registration deadline and after the registration deadline one of the most important web pages on cbu website is academic calendar It is where you can check in advance the registration deadlines or fees deadlines and all other planned events information. You can access your academic calendar by clicking on academic calendar option provided under the course information and registration heading on the CBU Service Hub page. Once you click on academic calendar page just scroll down where there is an option called calendar of events just click on this option and you will be navigated to a sharepoint page on that sharepoint page you will be able to scroll down to january 2023 where you will find the information like 9th of january the classes for winter 2023 term begins 18th of January is the last date for students to finalize registration for winter term courses. Financial penalty applies for courses dropped after this date. And 30th of January is the deadline for payment for winter term fees. So make sure you check your academic calendar after every term. For international students traveling to Canada if you wish to have a student checklist with you to confirm that whether you have all the documents with you while traveling or not then you can get it by searching student checklist in the search bar on the CBU service hub page and you can download your international student checklist from the international student service page when you will be getting the international student services option 
just go to that page scroll down download your international student pre-arrival checklist and that's it that will be your checklist now for the students who have not received their visa and are thinking of deferring their term and want to get information about how to defer their program or their term you just have to search defer in the search option and click on the first option that comes up when you click on deferrals you'll be navigated to the deferrals page where step by step we have provided all the information of like what you are supposed to do if you are deferring your term so the crux is to explore and navigate through the CBU service hub option on the CBU website and you'll find all the information important to the students over there now I will show you how you can connect with us if you have any queries the very first step will be to log into your CBU Compass student account with your CBU login ID and password then once you'll be logged into your Compass student account you have to click on your username present on the top of your account and when a drop down option will come up you have to click on program and advising support once you click on it you will be navigated to a new screen on this new screen go to the top right corner and click on get help button if you have any query related to registration then under the re request help there is a drop down option where you will select post baccalaureate diploma student advising and program support but if you have any other query that is known advising query then choose some other options fill in the details in the space provided after that and you also have the option to attach any documents or any screenshots that you have in order to support the query that you are asking in the or describing in the details option at last just have you just have to click on the submit button and that's it the screen will show that the request has been sent and that your request is submitted and you will receive a confirmation email regarding the same in your outlook inbox with the next steps at last i would also like to share with you all that if you still feel unsure of the steps of how to book an advising appointment kindly explore your CBU website especially the CBU service hub option that is the end of today's presentation I hope that you all got the information related to advising and registration and if you have any queries you can reach out with the steps shown in the presentation and we'll definitely try to help you all out Again, welcome to Cape Breton University and we wish to see you all in the coming winter term.